Hi, this is Ushio, and this is The Count Lucanor. I don't actually know much about this game, but I think it's got a pretty good reputation. Might be a bit creepy, so let's check it out. It's gonna be spooky. Once upon a time, there lived a really poor boy called Hans. Yo, how's it going, Hans? Just chilling out on the grass. Hans was downhearted. He wanted to be an adult. Nice doggy. Nice pastoral vibes. Everything sunny and happy. He wanted to explore faraway places, find treasures, and visit lavish castles. He wants to go on an adventure. This animation is actually really cool. It's really, really nice. However, as his father had left to fight the war, Hans had to stay at home to help his mother. But today, Hans was really happy. It was his 10th birthday. Happy birthday! What's the plan? What do we do on the 10th birthday? Mum, I'm back. Do you know what day it is today? Of course I know. You're ten years old. Happy birthday. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, have you bought me any presents? Maybe you like a toy? Hans, my dear, you know, we have almost no money since your dad went to war. But Mum, it's my birthday. Do we have any sweets to eat? I'm sorry, there's nothing special. Come on, help me set the table. Wow, sulking. Well, enough's enough. All kids in the village have presents and sweets for their birthday. They even throw parties. Hands. I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of not having toys. I'm sick of being as poor as a church mouse. I understand now why Dad isn't coming back. Wow, harsh, man. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I've just turned ten. I'm a grown man. Really? Hands, please. I'm going in search of fortune, and I'm not ever coming back. I'll be an explorer, or even better, I'll be a prince in a castle. Goodbye. Wow, good job, Hans. Hans, wait, are you really leaving? You're still too young. You might think you're grown up, but you're only ten. Besides, life is really hard outside, and the woods can be really dangerous for you. I don't care. I'm really strong, and I've been alone in the woods many times. If you're really leaving, at least let me know what I can do to help you. I've got some things for you. I don't need your help. This cane belonged to my father, your grandpa, and has great sentimental value to me. I'm sure it will help you on your journey. You got a cane? I thought she was going to slap him for being so rude. This is all the money we've got left. Take it and spend it wisely. Three gold coins. Wow. Finally, this is all we had to eat. Eat your food slowly. It's going to last longer that way. Got some cheese. And this is it. I can't give you anything else. Hans, please don't go off the road. Be a good boy and remember, I'll be here if you want to come back. To interact with things. Okay, we can move around. Wow, we, we just left home. We, we just left home. Um... I'm a bad son. Spittle will love his bone. Okay, I've got a bone. I guess Spittle is the name of the dog. Is, is there a run button? I've got a bone and a cane and three money. Hey, hey, mum. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry you're leaving, son. You're still so young. I, I guess I've uh, burned my bridges. I've got to go. This is where mum and I sleep. There's no room for other beds. It's a... Uh, a poor lifestyle. I'm sick of stale bread, but who knows? I might need it on my adventure. Wow, you're, you're robbing. You're robbing your own mother. Okay. F feel bad. Feel bad. So this is that dog, Spittle, right? Spittle, I can't play with you anymore. I go on adventures, just like Dad did. I might not be coming back for a long time. But where's your bone? It has to be around here. Okay, we got we got the bone. There you go, that's your bone. You give Spittle the bone. 
I have to go now. Take care of Mum and don't go away. Okay, I guess I guess I'll go. Swing. Hell yeah. But what am I doing? Now that I'm old, I can't play with a swing anymore. I mean, you're you're ten, dude. <laughs> you're you're not old at all. I'm happy I don't have to fetch water from this darned well anymore. What an ungrateful little arsehole this character is. Alright, what is up here? Oh, spooky tree. No, so far still so good. Oh, what is this? There's a mark on the tree. I think I'm taking what I've hidden in the tree hollow. I got some chestnuts. Okay, took that out of the tree. Anything else that's good? Our mum advised us to stay on the path. So I guess... I guess that's what we will do. Hit the path. Just going to go for a stroll in the woods. Go on an adventure and find our fortune. Maybe. Okay, we have started our game officially now. What is this? Rabbits? Hello? No, ran away. Don't, don't run. Ah. Okay. Ooh, a sign. A sign. Where, where to? Hangman's Woods. Sounds legit. So, north or west? Or whatever's over here. No, nope, looks good to me. Is there a go fast button? Is there? There is no run button. Okay. Can, can I grab a rabbit though? No, no. The rabbits do not want to be friends. I'm gonna go left. This is the path to the village, but it's really boring. I'd rather go on adventures. Okay. We're gonna get what we deserve. I can tell. I can just tell. Alright, up we go. Hello? Oh, someone here. Hey, yeah. What's good? Hello, young one. What are you doing here alone? The wood can be really dangerous for a kid. I'm a grown man, lady. I'm ten. Oh, oh well. I see you're a man indeed. Perhaps you can help me then. What's up? I was on my way to the market in the village to sell this pig and make some money. But my cane was stuck in some rocks and it broke. I need that support to walk, so I don't know what I'll do when night falls. Won't you by any chance have something to help me keep going? I mean, I could hand her the cane that mum gave me, but she told me it was my grandpa's. To give her the cane, I should take it from my backpack and show it to her. Do, do I really want to do that though? Isn't this like got huge sentimental familial, you know, interests for our character? I don't know. There you go. Please use the cane with care. Wow, thanks a lot. Your mother should be proud of such a good son. About the pig though. Come on, you darn slacker. Move your ass. Oh god, she hit the pig. Goodbye, son. I do hope we meet again really soon so I can return the favour. Okay, what, she's going to take the pig to market? Sorry, pig. I think you're going to be breakfast tomorrow. Hmm. What is, what is this? Hello? It's a deer. No, no. Hello? Can I follow the deer? No. So, gradually, piece by piece, we're losing all of our inventory. Probably a bad thing. Hello? Crow? I don't like ravens at all. Mum said they bring bad luck. Then I shall walk on by and not worry too much about it. Okay, new area. Area's gone a bit quiet. Normally there's like a bit of music or something. Now there's, it's gone a bit quiet. Hello, horsey. Hey, Mr. Donkey, where do you come from? You kind of look hungry. Um, I've only got money. I haven't got anything else to give him. Wait, up here? There's like a farm or something. Oh, squirrel. Hello? No, no one wants to be friends with this kid. I don't blame him. Okay, so if it's fallen down, it's free, right? These apples look delicious. If I keep them, I can regain strength later. But I, I want it for the donkey. I want it for the donkey. Looks like someone smashed that gate in. I'm not going to worry too much about it. And I'm going to visit the donkey. How, how do I how do I give items to to people? Hello. I think he likes apples. Okay, so how do we do this? Apple. Okay. There you go, Mr. Donkey. Eat this apple I've got. There you go. Who's a, a happy, happy donkey. There you go. I gave him 
both both of my ones. I haven't got any apples, sorry. I gave him two. That should be enough, right? Okay, another sign. Hello? Where are we off to? The Cursed Gorge. I mean, I know I'm just being set up for a fall. Oh, here comes the crow. Or oh, is it a raven? I can't remember. I think it's a raven. Oh, sad person. Oh, you've crashed. Oh, what's going to become of me? Um... Hey, are you okay? Help, please help. I've lost everything. All the wares I carried for my lord. Even my donkey has gone away. What will become of me? I saw the donkey down the road. He's just scared. My master will punish me anyway. He will lash me 100 times for not bringing the wares. Perhaps you could strap them to the donkey and resume your journey? You're not hurt, are you? You're a smart kid, but it won't help much. Unless I bring my master some money to make up for the wagon, he'll punish me hard. You're just a kid. I guess you won't spare some coins, will you? I mean, I could give him my money, but mum told me not to waste it. This is... These are some hard lessons that we come up against. This kid reckons that he knows it all. And so far, he's giving away everything. I could just push this out of the way. There's a goat. What? Hello? How you doing, goat? 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 I don't know. Um, so my options are to either ignore this guy, or give him some money, or maybe, I've only got three gold coins anyway, or maybe if the donkey wants to come back, that'll make him feel better. Donkey, 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 where are ya? Your master kind of wants you. C can you come with? I'll, I'll lead you over. Hello? No. Can I grab the reins or something? No. Donkey is not interested. Alright, I, I guess I'll give this guy some money. But I think I'm being played for a fool by all these people just looking to take advantage of me. I'm being stripped of all my valuables. And I think I'm going to be very vulnerable by the end of this. Never mind. We're going to go with it anyway. Here's some money. I could give you a coin. I'll take two, thanks. Wow. He's stolen. Two. Oh no, I wanted to give you one. Give me the other one back. Alright kid, don't play the rat here will ya? I'll make it up to you another time buddy. Yeah but will you though? Will you though? Oh poor me. He's still on the coin but there's nothing I can do. I should go on my way. Yeah we're, we're not doing well. We're, <laughs> we're being mugged off by all of these different people. Alright. I did rescue that goat or I released it. Hopefully that was a good thing. We're going to follow the goat. There's the goat. Is this, is this good? I'm going to follow it. Oh, there's a note on the tree though. One second. All those above 15 shall report to their nearest gendarmerie at once. I am not 15. Hello goat. Lots of goats. Hey, how's it going? Hey kiddo, what are you doing in the top of the mountain? I'm going in search of fortune. Blimey, that's a big idea. Tell me if you find anything interesting. Are you taking care of the goats? My goats take care of themselves, spend the day smoking and playing the flute. But hey, ain't your parents worried about you? I don't think so. Besides, my dad went to war. Oh, that's kind of bad. Why? Oh, let's say they forced you to go to war. I don't know anybody who chose to. So, it ain't a great place. Oh. And your mum? Ain't she looking for you? I don't care. I'm angry with her. But at least she gave me some food for the journey. Ow. Are you okay? You mentioned food. And my belly aches. Being all day with me goats. And forgot to bring something to eat. Took tobacco and wine. But forgot the most important thing, you know? Everybody is playing me for a fool. Okay, I've got... I've got some cheese. Take the cheese. Here you go, you can have it. You sure? Truth is, your cheese looks delicious. And me is starving. Wait, you think we want to share? We could have a nice meal with your cheese and me wine. Alright, cool. So, how can a 10 year old, how can he handle his wine? I don't think so hot. There you go, Hans. Drink some more wine, man. Uh, I think I can't handle this shit. Yeah, I didn't think so, you poor boy. Have to take you back home, but first, the final sip. Yeah, we, we got drunk. Not not good. 
Okay, what is going on now? Spooky forest stuff and a raven with an evil eye. <laughs> I really like the aesthetic, I can't get over it, it's so cool. Uh, okay. Spooky nightmare raven. Bad things happened. So, have we woken up in a graveyard? Save soul. What? Oh my head. I might have fallen asleep. It's pitch dark and I'm freezing. I should head home. I just need to follow the way back. But it's so dark, I better take this candle with me. No, 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 no. This is a really old tomb. It's so worn, I can't read the name. G give me the candle. I can't read these. Yeah, we didn't we didn't have a picnic in in a graveyard, but somehow we've ended up here. Yeah, and all these anonymous graves that we can't we can't read. No. I guess we'll see if we can work our way back. This is not where we started. Is it all ducks and their ducklings? Okay. Hello. This is the blood of all those who died at war. Let's not worry about the literal river of blood. There's the... Oh my god. Hello. What's happening here? Hello. Oh god. Um. Hey, how's it going? Hey buddy, you alright? You look a bit pale. Um. You can never trust a goat, can you? Um. So the guy that we shared our cheese with might have been eaten by demonic goats. Oh, this guy really having a party. Um, I'm just going to be on my way, I think. Even the baby. Even the baby. <laughs> Even the baby. Give me that candle. I'm just going to keep walking this way. Oh, hey, who this? Wait. I heard a bell and there was that weird... I think I could just a tiny person. I guess we'll go and investigate. Alright, so here is where the guy took our money. Mm-hmm. Wait, I keep... I heard like a... Uh, the go Oh, God! No, 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 no. <laughs> push this. Push, 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 push. I'm through, I'm through. Is he still coming? I hope not. Okay, the gates are demons at night. Okay, pal. I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna flow. Don't go too fast. I wanna keep track of where you're going to. Down. Going down. Following the path. Okay. We got attacked by a goat I did not like. Oh, hello, dear. Hello. Even if it's completely still, I can see it breathing. It's frozen with red eyes. Let's ignore the deer. Because it might well be possessed or something. What's going on up there? Oh, it's a sleeping goat. I'm not going to mess with that. Oh, it's got something. An apple. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. So are we being led, it feels like, by this individual up here? Off the path. Off the path. Hello? What's going? Oh, what's this? I'll I'll take that. No, that's a broken statue. Yeah, this place looks like an old abandoned garden. Wait, he went in this crack. Hello. What's going on? Good evening, most gracious sire. Welcome. Hello. Where am I? You've entered the walls of Tenebra Castle, the fortress of the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I didn't know there was a count living around here. My master has always excelled at discretion. Perhaps you have come to claim my master's legacy. Legacy? My master, Count Lucanor, is a man of great wealth. His domain and influence span hundreds of leagues. However, he is afflicted by a sorrow. His days of youth are far behind, and in all these years he has not had a son to take his place. Thus, he has requested me to look for young noblemen who deserve to inherit such a fortune. You mean this Count Lucanor has a lot of money, and he's looking for someone to have it? 
Precisely, so my first thought was you had arrived with that purpose in mind. Oh, of course, I'm a, a nobleman from a, a faraway kingdom. I have come to claim the Count's wealth. Take me to him at once, please. I admire your enthusiasm, sire, but before I can take you to my master, I need to make sure you stand for the appropriate values for the role. We would not want vile noblemen, thieves, or ragged children in the throne, would we, sire? Aha. Uh -huh. Therefore, you'll have to tackle a simple trial. You'll need to guess my name. What do you say? You'll have the knight to guess my name. If you're right, I'll personally take you to my master, the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I wish you luck in the trial, sire. Now if you allow me, I have to leave. I have to work out his name? Oh, blessing. If I guess his name, I'll be rich. No, but what? what is his name? What is his name? Okay, we just got inside. I didn't really think about it. I just kind of went in. Uh, options. I mean, I guess I should just initially just go straight forward and see where this takes us. It's like a central courtyard. Oh. Zowie, the fountain is full of coins. If I were you, I wouldn't reach for those coins. I've seen the raven kill seven foot tall warriors just by pecking. Oh, he looks like he means it. Truth be told, the raven looks pissed. Leave gold, save soul. What? He's asking you for a coin, boy? If you throw a gold coin into the fountain, he'll save your soul. Save my soul? From what? Death. Uh. I mean... Mate, can I have a coin, please? Hey, young one, what are you doing here? I'm after the Count's fortune. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know that blue kobold's name, would you? Yeah, I just come here to sell my wares to those unfortunate souls who dare enter the rooms of the castle. What do you mean? Find out for yourself. Since we've already met, I can give you this key. A blue key. I think I've never seen a colour key before. What's it for? Oh my, you seem a little bit confused. Haven't you noticed the banners by the doors? Uh, there are four colours, blue, green, red and golden. You need the same colour key to open the doors. Okay, now I've got the blue key, I can start to explore, thanks a lot. Wait, kiddo, don't leave in such a rush. Don't you want to see my wares? They might be useful to you. Okay, what do you sell? The first one is a golden key. You can use it to enter the rooms upstairs. The key will cost you ten gold coins. That's expensive. The second item is a sealed envelope with one of the blue kobolds name letters. The letter will cost you five. And last but not least, I've got corn. A handful of corn will cost you three gold coins. Also, as you helped me when we met by the rocks, I want to give you the envelope with the letter, so now we're even. I've got the letter L. Thanks a lot. So is that is that good? Is that good? Okay, I guess I need to find the blue doors. Excuse me, sire. I believe you possess at least one of the letters of our name. Will you follow me, sire? I would like to explain you something that you're going to need to know. What is going on? Okay, let's follow this guy and we'll have a quick word and maybe he'll explain something else. Hello? I presume you found the letter in the castle, am I right? Uh, yeah, you are. What are they for? There are letters hidden in the rooms. You may use them to display my name. Is that so? Every letter you may find will appear in this room. Once you've collected enough letters, you may display my name. Okay, I see eight places on the floor, so your name consists of eight letters, doesn't it? You are indeed perceptive, sire. Therefore, I urge you to continue looking for letters. And once you've collected eight, I will tell you to come back to this room. I wish you luck. Then I should focus on getting those eight letters. Okay, looks like we have made a start on our adventure. So I think we're going to have to check out a little bit more in the next episode as we try and get more letters and spell out this guy's name. This is Ashir signing off and hopefully I will see you next time.